video today I'm going to teach you how you can make your very own GIF just like I've done here in Photoshop so you can use that for Instagram so you have a looping image that just keeps playing on and on and on when you've got a series of different pictures and I'm going to show you how in Photoshop. So all you want to do is open up your Photoshop and then you're going to go to file and then you're going to go to scripts and then you want to go load files into stack. So what you want to do beforehand is select the images you want to use, load them into a little stack and put them in a folder. So I've chosen these four here and they are continuous so they kind of go all together. So select all and you're going to open those. And then it should look like this and then you're going to click OK. And that will open up like so. Now, as you can see here, the timeline has automatically popped up, but if this doesn't show, what you want to do is go to window and select the timeline option, because this is what it would normally look like in Photoshop, but you want to see the timeline. So you're going to select that. In here, you're going to click create frame animation. So you're going to click that like so and click that again, and then the first image will pop up but we want to have the rest of them. So you're going to select all, and then this little box here, you're going to click that, and you're going to make frames from layers. Click this, and they should all appear. So the options down below, you want to make sure it loops forever. So make sure that option's clicked. And then at the moment, if you press play, that's way too fast. So a really good option is selecting all, Select all, and 0.2 is generally quite good. And press play, and there you have it. So that is your looping GIF, easy peasy. So what you want to do now to export that is go to file, and then you're going to export, and then you're going to render video. Save it, dancing, and then render and then it's going to create that video for you. And then if you should go to our desktop, it should be there. And there you have it, that is your GIF. And then all you need to do if you want to export that to your phone is drag that, airdrop that to your iPhone, and then you have it on your phone. Easy as that.